I wanted to first talk in this video about the IRA because most people believe that the IRA was a terrorist organization created in the 70s. In a matter of fact, the IRA was created around the time of the 1920s and was actually a group that fought against imperialism. Now, some people will call the IRA in the 20s the Irish Republican Army or the old IRA. Now, here's the thing. The IRA in the 70s were called the Provost, the Provisional IRA. Now, these were a completely different group from the IRA in the 1920s. In fact, the IRA from the 70s, the Provost, actually stole the name of the IRA and used that as a way to gain popularity within Ireland to try and fight against the North. And the thing is about the Provost is that they used cruel tactics to gain whatever they wanted, which they put up as a front as being that they wanted the North of Ireland. However, this is not the case. You have to question, why on earth was there a terrorist organisation that was created out of the blue in Ireland and labelled themselves as the IRA in the 70s? Why not in the 50s? Why not in the 60s? What happened between then? Why on earth was there this sudden resurgence of the IRA that returned? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because communism was a huge thing around the time. And really, it was just a bunch of communists trying to cause a bit of havoc. The IRA in the 20s had honour, okay? They fought to try and get rid of imperialism. The English starved the Irish for centuries. So now you can see Disney how this is a very similar situation. Because Lucasfilm were once great, and then they had their name stolen by a bunch of commies. And those communists are you, Disney. What's pretty crazy as well is that Lucasfilm are a subsidiary to you, right? Basically meaning that you, Disney, are the parents of Lucasfilm. You're flipping abusive. Lucasfilm are literally getting hit by you every second of the day. And they internalize this and it corrupts them even more. And the old Lucasfilm were already replaced by communists anyway. So it's like double the trash, bro. And now you have a dilemma because the abuse also transfers the secret ultra communism part of the brain. So you've got all these creators for the different Star Wars shows and all the movies, and they're putting communism into them, into the media to try and influence the minds and carry on the abusive pattern. However, there is hope because some of the members of Lucasfilm actually went to Jar Jar therapy classes and they are enlightened. They now know the truth of the whole situation and they're moving on. Because some of the members at Lucasfilm are actually agents of George Lucas who aim to cause a spanner in the works. Now I know you're confused Disney and I know a lot of people who are watching this video may also be confused. They probably were confused a while back but let me explain even better. Just to clear things up, I'm not talking about any of the writers that try and do justice to the legacy of George Lucas and Star Wars. What I'm talking about is the fact that there is a case study out there. Now, many people may remember The Mandalorian for how trash it actually was. Now, there is one specific scene when The Mandalorian, I'm pretty sure, I can't really remember, is going down some corridor. Now, in the background, you have one of the members on set who, I don't know, was doing some, I don't know, set work or something, and he's in the background of the shot. Now, a lot of people at the time were complaining, saying, oh my god, he's in the shot, how have they not seen this? Surely they should have taken this out. And then they re-edited it so the guy wasn't in the background of the shot. Now, I know, Disney, that you probably fired that person who was in the background of the shot and the guy who left it in after all the footage was reviewed for the episode. Or maybe Disney, you gave them MK Ultra after they finished filming and they are forever now a communist drone. Or maybe they were always a communist drone, but they had a slight error, a slight malfunction, a slight human moment. Maybe you've replaced all the humans with Cybermen and that probably is the most logical theory. Basically, Disney, I know your whole game. I know what's going on. For everybody who hates on this video, they are literally paid bots by Disney, Xbox players, they're droidica players, nobody likes any of them, and I see what you're doing. But you can't change anything, because your company is going to go bankrupt sooner or later. Unlucky. Now if this video is literally being shown in a meeting at Disney HQ, and some of you guys there are literally like shaking, panicking, because you see the stocks are going down, you know... This is my message, um, really, at the end of the day. I don't like you. Uh, not many people like you, and uh, you're gay. 